The motion was initially the day's only business of the House. Members of Parliament had debated on it on Sunday, and Tuesday was decision time. But some members instead moved a separate motion to have it shelved. Please get to understand this well. We have a request from 12 members that this House removes from its business the motion that seeks to bar former Prime Minister's cabinet from getting reappointed. Uh, and then voting was done by show of hands after the Speaker confirmed the House had the required quorum. 218 members voted in total, 113 voted in favor of the motion, 99 rejected and 6 abstained. The motion is therefore sustained. Impeached Prime Minister Shirdon's administration was ousted on grounds of poor performance. Some members of parliament therefore expressed concern that some of the former cabinet ministers allied to the president could make a comeback into the new government. But the majority had different views. I think shooting down that motion was a wise move. We have no reason to bar able citizens of this country from taking leadership positions. We should not deprive them of their rights to lead. Prime Minister Abdiweli Ahmed had earlier requested the House to give him further 10 days to allow him finalize selecting his cabinet. Naming of the cabinet involves an acrimonious clan balance and has long been the reason for the fallout between the president and the prime minister such that analysts know won. Another phase of infighting in President Mohamud's administration could lead to a permanent collapse of the government. Mohamed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.